Uh, what you see here is um, an MC8080 uh, computer simulator running in uh, Ubuntu or, or Ubuntu uh, Linux. Um, it's a simulation of a 8-bit uh, microcomputer from the 70s era. Uh, same time the uh, MITS Altair 8800, I think it is, came out. Um, the first microcomputer system that Bill Gates uh, and his gang uh, programmed for when they created Microsoft. This is basically the first clone because it's a clone of the uh, Altair computer. Basically the same thing, although this one to some people seems to look uh, a little cosmetically or aesthetically uh, better. Um, I just f finished keying in the um, what I call the Knight Rider program. See how the LEDs in the upper left uh, are uh, bouncing back and forth, kind of like the front grill lights on the uh, uh, that Knight Rider uh, uh, car on the TV show that aired uh, some years back. Um, this program, um, although I think there's somehow a, a file, but I don't know how to get this simulator to load a file for the MC-80. I'll figure that out one day or soon, maybe. Um, so I had to take the program that uh, uh, someone wrote on this website right here, techtinkering.com, blah, 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 there's the URL there. He uh, basically got this simulator as well and he said okay I want to write a program to make it do something interesting and so he did and he wrote it in assembler figured out how to do the machine codes the machine language um, upcodes and uh, laid it all out and uh, gave us also the binary uh, ones and zeros in pairs of uh, eight, four and four, eight uh, uh, that could be toggled in, toggled in, and by toggled in, that's programming the MC8080 computer. Uh, so I toggled all this in. I have to toggle all those digits. Each one, each one or zero is a is a switch. You have to flip on the simulator on the hardware and the actual hardware. You have to flip uh, hardware up and down switches, um, and then deposit which puts uh, that particular binary sequence or upcode um, into memory and uh, keep doing that until you've entered the whole thing and it took a while to do it and I thought oh geez well if I made a mistake but apparently I was careful enough um, I didn't analyze this program to figure out exactly how he makes it do what it does although I'm sure I could give him some more time I did do some uh, front panel toggle switch programming in octal um, uh, you have hexadecimal, octal, decimal, binary all those different numbering systems I, I did some octal uh, on this thing just prior to doing this one and, uh, and then I said you know what I want to do the thing the Knight Rider thing I call it and he doesn't call it that and I don't know if anybody else calls it that but I do um, they also have a video uh, online of an actual hardware MC8080 uh, running that uh, same what I call the Night Rider program uh, on real hardware. So his uh, his program runs on real hardware and it runs on the simulator and there you have it. Um, so you see the uh, all these toggle switches and uh, you have to from this first blue one in the center. Um, two pairs of four, four blue and four red. That's where you have to toggle in the binary of the address, examine it, that puts you in the spot typically you start at zero and uh, start putting in his ones and zeros. You know, one, zero, one, zero, whatever, all the way across. Um, and do deposit for the first one and deposit next for all the rest of them until you got them all entered in. Hope you didn't make a mistake. Imagine how the early programmers, if they had to go through kind of gives you a little respect for uh, what you got when you run programs on your computer and you didn't have to do it that way. Um, but there you have it, MC88 uh, running on Linux 
uh, within VMware on top of Windows 7, actually. So there's a lot of simulation going on here, a lot of uh, virtual virtualization. Um, and uh, it's pretty neat to, uh, to run a, uh, an early Microsoft Bill Gates era uh, type of computer uh, simulation, at least. Looks like the hardware. Pretty neat simulation they did. There's some other ones. Um, Altair, uh, MITS Altair was actually the computer system that Bill Gates was getting programmed on. And this is supposed to be the first clone computer, so this is a, a clone basically of the uh, MITS Altair uh, 8800, I believe it was. I have a simulator for that too for Windows that I was playing around with before I found this one, but this one looked really cool. Um, the way the graphics, although the 3D thing kind of gets annoying, especially when you want to program something or whatever, it's hard to get this thing to line back up where the switches show up right and the lights, you see my lights aren't showing up right. Um, it's kind of hard to get that uh, straightened out. There you have it. The Knight Rider program.